Good Friday afternoon, everyone. We're wrapping up our first official week of spring here in central New York, but triple Doppler looks more like winter. We've got clouds and snow moving in. Let's zoom right in on Onondaga County. Places to the north, you guys are lucking out. Places like Baldwinsville, Cato, anywhere north of I-90. No clouds so far, so you guys are having some nice bright sunshine. To our south, though, we've got snow and clouds moving in and even some patches of freezing rain or I'm sorry, mixed precipitation just west of Jamesville, Lafayette and even as far south as Tully. That's where a little bit of warm air is and that could cause for some slick spots as you head home this evening. Right now, temperatures in North Syracuse and Clay at 37, 37 also in downtown Syracuse where that snow is happening is a little bit colder, 33 in Manlius and down below freezing as you head further south. Now, if you're heading out for the Dome game tonight, our Sweet 16 matchup. Walking up to the Dome, it's going to be 27 to 32 degrees below freezing, and it's going to feel even colder. Winds are blowing at around 10 miles an hour, so these temperatures are actually going to feel more like the upper teens to low 20s. Snow showers will stay with us off and on throughout tonight. Um, if you're not heading out for the Dome game, if you have just any Friday evening plans, maybe you're heading out for dinner, temperatures are going to drop off steadily. Starting at 4 p.m., planning this out hour by hour for you. We start at 35. We drop below freezing as we head to 8 o'clock, and then we keep on dropping off from there into the uh, uh, mid to upper 20s. But again, it's going to feel even colder with that wind blowing. So grab the winter jacket before you head out tonight. More winter weather in the forecast tonight. We've got some snowfall by 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Expect one to three inches in places west and south of Syracuse. We could see even more in some localized areas south of the Finger Lakes. So places like Moravia, Romulus, any place south of our Finger Lakes, you guys could see up to three to six inches of local accumulation. Let me show you that on Futurecast. What's happening is cold air is moving over Lake Ontario, and that's going to get these lake effects showers started overnight on Saturday. As we head throughout the day, winds are going to shift from the northeast to the northwest and watch what these snow bands do. They ride it right out through central New York as that wind aligns with the Finger Lakes. That's when you guys could see the heaviest snowfall to the south. A little bit heavier snowfall to our south in Cortland County, maybe down by Ithaca and places over by Hamilton and Utica could see an extra inch or two in accumulation. The rest of this future cast is good news, though. We dry out, snow moves off to the east, and even the clouds start to part. So we are in store for some beautiful sunshine for the second half of your weekend. Now wrapping this all up for you. Cold tonight and Saturday, way below average with some weak uh, snow showers and flurries off and on for the first half of your weekend. They get out of the way and then lots of sun, uh, sunshine on Sunday. Still cold though, so if you have any Sunday plans, grab the winter jacket and the sunglasses. We finally are in store for a warm up next week. It won't be as warm, we'll actually just be more on average for the last week of March and the first week of April here in central New York. Now, before we get to the warm weather on the seven day, we got to get through a chilly weekend, 25 on Saturday. In into the 30s, almost to 40 on Sunday. We'll break into the 40s on Monday, but a system with snow and rain is going to come through and drop our temperatures back down into the upper 30s, bringing some light snow and a little bit of rain. Now, Wednesday is when we start our real big warm up. We'll get into the 40s again with some afternoon rain showers. They'll get right out of the way. And on Thursday, a beautiful day in store, milder air, nice and dry with some sunshine, and we'll make a run at 50. It is short lived though because another system comes through close to next weekend on Friday, bringing colder air and some rain and snow showers.